Hey guys, how's it going? In today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, how I got a little greedy on the stock market and I disobeyed my rule and I'm going to go and explain it in this video what happened and why I uh, got a little greedy and didn't follow my rule of not chasing a stock while it's rising and I did ex that exactly what I did today and I messed up but uh, because I got a little greedy and greed sometimes does that to you so I will explain it in this video but uh, yeah Tesla stock today had a decline of 6.3% after hours is let's see I guess it kind of stabilized but uh, I, I don't know what's gonna happen Monday or Tuesday but uh, there's been some pretty bad news on Tesla and it declined the stock declined almost nine percent today and uh, uh, I kind of freaked out today with the news that I saw in the morning and I went out and just sold all my my Tesla shares maybe I, I messed up a little bit by doing that uh, but I think the stock is gonna decline some more that was my fear because uh, some really bad news came out today and I'm gonna share it with you guys so Disclosure, I've sold out my position on Tesla. I no longer own Tesla shares. I'm waiting for a two hundred dollar price tag before I put my money back in. We'll see what we'll see what happens because I think this stock is gonna decline down to two hundred. Mr. Jing Jang might be right. It might go to even a hundred dollars. Uh and yeah, let me let me explain it to you in this video. So <laughs> this image that Elon Musk is smoking pot like seriously like they released this picture on a day that already has really bad news it's like Elon Musk doesn't even care anymore he's like eh whatever let's let's see how, it, how how much the stock can plummet I'm just gonna do whatever I want and you know he releases a picture of him smoking pot uh, and then uh, I saw a video today in the morning saying that uh, Elon Musk Told told uh, people that he's not really a businessman. He's an engineer. He's an inventor. Uh, he's he's like kind of like Tom, uh, Thomas Edison or like Tesla. Like there's a guy in on Netflix I watched. His name is Tesla. He was the guy that made it al alternating current electricity. Um, he like that's what Elon Musk is. I think that's the reason why Tesla was named after that guy Tesla. Uh, that was born when Thomas Edison was around and he uh, created alternating current which transformed the world of uh, electricity as we see it today uh, and then the second bad news that happened was uh, two of Tesla executive Dave Morin and someone else I'm not sure it doesn't say in this article uh, says that they are leaving oh no they are leaving Tesla and and uh, David Morin is basically Tesla's accountant uh, that was very discerning to me I was like uh, okay Tesla was supposed to flip a profit why would Dave Morin just leave Tesla I mean he says that he doesn't like the publicity why, why does he not like the publicity when he probably knows that Tesla is going to miss their financial report, is going to do bad, and that's why he doesn't want that publicity, so he's leaving Tesla before their earnings come out. Uh, this is a really bad sign, so that's that's another reason why I sold out. Uh, I know he says that it's like the... Like he says that no disagreement with Tesla leadership or its financial reporting. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm a little scared investing in Tesla right now just because of all the the bad news that just came out like recently. Like like Elon Musk smoking weed. Like my suspicion of 420 cl uh, uh, kind of came true. So Elon Musk is coming out and just like I don't care anymore. I'm just gonna smoke pot on on smoke pot. T get my picture taken and throw it on on C uh, on the news. Like what? Like seriously? Like 
do you not care about your company anymore? It's like he doesn't. He just doesn't care about the stock price anymore. He's just doing whatever he wants. So that's a little concerning to me. That's why I sold out. I'm I'm wait. I'm hoping that the stock price goes to two hundred. Then maybe I'll buy back in. And if it goes to one hundred and fifty, I'll buy back in some more. And if it goes to like a hundred dollars, I'll make a big purchase of Tesla because I don't think Tesla is going to go away unless the news is really bad and actually hit a hundred dollars. But uh, I don't think Tesla is going to go away. I think uh, Tesla is going to. They're gonna have a like I think they're gonna go through a rough patch and then it's gonna recover probably within 2020 that's just my opinion we'll see what happens oh and there's another another con part of concern uh, right here Tesla made it some convertible bonds uh, priced at $360 and if it if the option doesn't mature by the time it by the time like that time comes up they'll have Tesla will have to pay back a billion dollars 920 million dollars and considering the fact that Tesla stock is what like 260 dollars right now it's a little concerning to me that's why I'm kind of that's why I kind of backed off on Tesla a little bit namaste now I got I'm gonna get into namaste uh, I got a little greedy what I did in the morning was I went out and I purchased 3,000 shares at market price because I was looking at the Europe market. Uh, which one? Okay, right here. I was looking at the Europe market uh, late at night and I saw it at trading at uh, 220. And I saw that this max was 240. I really thought the stock was going to go to like close to four dollars a day so when I woke up this morning I saw it trading at 320 I'm like oh I think the stocks gonna keep going up so I bought and it declined and I'm kinda like kicking myself for chasing the stock because I thought I got greedy I thought I, I thought that the stock was really gonna go to like four dollars today or even close to four dollars a day and it declined and then when it declined I was thinking you know what Honestly, I don't think it's gonna go back down to two dollars. It could it could like it totally could go back down to two dollars I didn't think it was gonna go back down to two dollars I think that this little blip right here is basically similar to this little blip right here When it goes it went up to 172 and then it kind of declined back back down So I think that it could climb Back especially if they get their sales license today. I mean they're supposed to I think if they do get their sales license today It'll be announced in an hour from now Because it's already like three o'clock, but uh, they might not even get their sales license today And if the stock price does go back down to two dollars uh, I made a huge mistake and I, I lost out big time, but um, Buying opportunity I guess because uh they could, they will eventually get their sales license, right? Like so, it's a chance it'll, it'll decline back to two dollars, but at two dollars, pretty much considered a buying opportunity. But like then again, it could like anything possible in the stock market. It could just decline back to dollar forty. I mean, you never know, right? You just never know in the stock market. But if it declines back to two dollars and a dollar forty by Wednesday, by next Wednesday. That would be a huge, like, that would be a very depressing party. People would be like, why am I here? The stock just declined back to $1.40. Like, like, what the hell? Like, you know, like, people would be very upset at that party. Because they were going to that party, you know, expecting to have a good time. Be, you know, having an exciting time because stock price good, the party was good, you know, everything was good. But if the stock price declines, it's going to affect people's moods. They're going to be like, there, and they're going to be like, what the hell? Like, I lost everything I made. What <laughs> the... So, uh... I'm... Yeah. I don't know. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Uh... We'll, we'll see what happens with Namaste. And I guess, like, there was another, also another reason why I kind of made an, an impulsive purchase... That Namaste signed up a, a, a purchase agreement with Tilray because Tilray was such a hot topic 
that I thought because Namaste is you know has a supply agreement with uh with Tilray that this will help Namaste stock rise even further, but you know what it didn't. Instead of rising, it declined near the end of the day. But who knows? Maybe this is a blip, and and it will just continue to rise on Monday. Because if it doesn't, and it keeps declining, damn, that would be one depressing party. But there's another third. There's another third option. It could just hover around two seventy. So, so there's three options really for the stock. The either consolidates and just moves around two two dollars and fifty to two dollars and seventy. It could decline all the way back down to two dollars, or it could increase all the way up to um. I don't know, like forty dollars, I guess. No, not sorry, four dollars. Oh, so we'll see what happens next week. Uh, I. I have a feeling that they're not gonna get the sales license today. It would be really nice if after I make this video, sales license come out. Oh well. Uh, let's see. So, Aurora released some news today. Aurora stock didn't really benefit today. It just kind of stayed hovered around eight twenty ish or whatever. Um, it didn't really make a big move today, but like they announced that they can now produce. 170, 160,000 kilograms throughout all of their facilities like the Canamed, the um, Mountain, V, Sky, their Metro Lease facilities, uh, the new facility that just opened up, I can't say, Aurora O or whatever. Uh, so out of all the facility, they can produce one hundred sixty thousand kilograms. So if you if you take one hundred sixty thousand kilograms, oops, what did I do? Oh well. You divide that by twelve. You're producing about one hundred and thirty three thousand kilograms. So you take one hundred and thirty. 3 million grams per month you times that by I don't know 550 as an average price you may, you're looking at 73 million dollars per quarter no sorry per month if they manage to sell everything I mean they, they probably won't but who knows they might if they manage to sell everything that's 73 Three million dollars. This is like the lowest minimum, right? So if you times that by three months, we're looking at two hundred and nineteen million, two hundred and twenty million dollars at minimum when legal, when full legalization uh, operate uh, comes online, and I guess the rest of the money would come from the international market and them um, gathering more medical patients, but. Uh, if they sell every single gram, that's two hundred twenty million dollars, and this is not including oils, right? Like, what happened? They, they, they include oils in this. What happened? Oils increase the, the the sales price. This can go over three hundred million dollars. Three hundred million dollars for a stock price uh, for a market cap that's, I don't know, like six, seven, eight billion dollars. A little less than eight billion dollars seems a, a little around eight billion dollars seems a little undervalued to me. So that's just my opinion though. We'll see what happens in the future. Uh, I'm not going to add any more to my position because I already own enough Aurora Cannabis shares. But if if, uh, if I sold out all my position at $9, I'd probably buy back in right now. Slowly anyways. But I didn't. So whatever. We'll see what happens in the future. I'm really hoping this. I'm really hoping Aurora gets a a big deal from a alcohol company and then shoots the stock up to fourteen to twenty dollars. But you know that's wishful thinking. Um, I guess I'll just end it off with um with this government of Canada. It's two fifty nine. Let's see if. Uh, can Mart got the license yet? Let's see. Can Mart, Can Mart, Can Mart. 
Kmart still does not have the uh, sales license yet. Hopefully, in maybe the next hour, we'll have it, but we'll see. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for future updates, and have a great day. Bye.